supposed to be I once was blind but now I see No longer looking over my shoulder Trying to find my way back No, 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 no No longer looking over my shoulder Trying to find my way back I'm walking in my destiny And welcome to Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. I'm your host, Shauna Whitehead. Y'all look so lovely out here. Y'all look wonderful. Clap to that. That's right. That's right. Y'all, we have an awesome show planned today. We're going to be talking to women that has overcame cancer. And also, we're going to meet a phenomenal person that's here from the Cancer Society. So you do not want to miss this. So please don't go nowhere because we got to, unfortunately, go to a commercial break. Be right back. Help me welcome Miss Carolyn Davis. Um, cancer is no fun. Young ladies should always go and get mammograms. So let's put our hands together and welcome Jennifer McMurray. And there is a myth among the African American Keep community real, that is like, if I don't know, it ain't gonna hurt me. If I gotta go, I'm just gonna go, and I don't have. Nonsense! That's right. That's absolute nonsense because right. people are living with cancer. They are surviving, but we need to catch it early. Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Hey ladies, HIPS urges you to stop sabotaging your own weight loss before you even get started by offering you this one day compact power course on weight loss Saturday, November 16, 2013 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 4429 West Fond du Lac Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. HIPS is health is priority seriously. Designed by Dr. Marion Oregon, OBGYN, board certified and author for people who are serious about losing weight right now before the new year. It's an easy three-step approach to gaining the attitude, then losing the weight, loving yourself to lose, eating your best to lose, and moving your hips to lose. Real weight loss that shows off the real beautiful you. All this plus more for the introductory cost of $35. Yes, only $35 for a limited time with limited seating. Don't give up on your weight loss yet. Don't wait. Call Dr. Mary in Oregon at 414-394-4281. That's 414-394-4281. Or email at cmc2organ at wi.rr.com. The 414 Video Spotlight. Attention all music artists. Get ready for the hottest video show in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hosted by me, Melvin James. Watch the 414 Video Spotlight every Saturday at midnight. Welcome back to Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. And I'm your host, Shauna Whitehead. And here at Walking in Your Destiny, we are real people who live real lives and who talk real talk. And we know that Jesus Christ is the head and the center of our life here on this show. And we are committed through our love for God, through his son, Jesus Christ, to be disciples, who to, to work, to develop disciples, to invest, invest in the kingdom of God. And y'all got to excuse me because it's these gold teeth. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just kidding, but sometimes I get tongue tied. It's okay, but today we have an awesome show planned. Um, we're talking about we're talking about cancer and overcoming cancer. And the show we had to do two segments of this topic because this is a very serious topic. And one of the women that you're going to meet today is a phenomenal woman of God. She, when I heard her testimony, I was like, "Wow, I have got to get you on the show." People need to hear what God has done in your life. Um, so her name is Miss Carolyn Davis. But before she comes to the couch and chop it up with me, um, the, her testimony is just phenomenal. And it encouraged me because I know someone that's going to be watching this. And you all who are in the audience know someone who battled cancer or maybe have cancer right now. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus is a healer. So don't be discouraged because today you will be blessed. So I want you to put your hands together and welcome me. Help me welcome Miss Carolyn Davis. Yes. 
Yep, you can sit right there. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. <laughs> you can get that microphone right there, sweetheart. Yeah, there you go. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you are a part of the show. I'm glad that you was um, accepting my offer to be on the show because when I heard your testimony about the cancer that you had battled, it just really, you know, ministered to me. And I just want to uh, everyone else to hear what God has done for you. So you can you tell us a little bit about what type of cancer you had? Hello, everybody. I'll say, first of all, praise be to God. I had breast cancer. And um, when I found out that I had um, breast cancer, at the time I was going through menopause. So you can imagine the um, thoughts that was running through my mind. I was already thinking something silly because I was going through menopause. But when they told me about that I had breast cancer, it was like a shock, you know, because you know, you think that it's can only happen to someone else, not yourself. Mm -hmm. But when you, when somebody, that's the big C word, breast cancer, mm -hmm. I was going through a lot at that time. What, what, like, what, what, first of all, what kind of, like, stages, like, what stage was you, what kind of state was you at, stage one, two, three, or what, when you found out you had cancer? I had to be, like, in probably stage three. Oh, wow. So, it was like, um... First of all, my husband told me that he had a dream that I had cancer. Uh -huh. But then when it actually came to pass, I was like, oh, no, don't have any more dreams about me. You know, unless they're, you know, unless they're um, <laughs> a blessing over my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you know? like, so what kind of effects did you have when you had the cancer? Um, I started bleeding from my breasts. What do you mean bleeding from your breasts? I was bleeding from my breasts. Um... I went to work and I noticed that I was having stains in my blouse and then one day I just went into the ladies room and that's what it was. I was bleeding from my breast. Wow. So. I, now I know y'all probably like, I just ain't never heard nobody bleed from their breast so I'm trying to, okay, I got it. Yeah. Wow. No. Wow. So did you have like a lot of pain or? I could feel a little bit of pain in my breast but I didn't think that's, I didn't know that's what it was. You know, because mm -hmm. um, we all, when you get a little bit up in age, have some aches and pains. But, you know, you just never think of it as being breast cancer. Wow. Oh, because the reason why I'm asking, because I know some people that out there that's watching or in the studio audience, you know, might not know what breast cancer is. And I'm happen to be one of those people. I know I go get my mammograms and all that other stuff done. Like they tell you when you once you get 40 and over, you should get that get that done. But for somebody who's not knowing what cancer really is, I just want you to just kind of like break that down for me. I know it's a killer. I know it's a deadly disease. Um, but breast cancer, I, I'm not really familiar with you know, the symptoms and things of that nature. So what other symptoms can can you detect? I know you can feel a lump. I do know that. Right. Sometimes you can feel a lump. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it could be um, redness in the nipple. Mm -hmm. um, how else can I say it? Sometimes it don't have to be. It can be like on the sides, you know, mm -hmm. not the breast itself, but... Once they um, go in, find out that it is the breast. Mm -hmm. For me, mine was so bad till I had to get a mastectomy. Oh, wow. I had waited a little bit too long for them to um, try to get, and I didn't want to take chemo because I'm a, um, I had sickle cell at the time, and so I didn't want that to be interjecting. I knew my immune system couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. But that's what it was. Um, you can get... Um, Lumps in your breasts or discolorations in your breasts. Oh wow! You know, wow! And I'm so glad that you're that we're talking about this because I know it's educating me, and I hope it's all educating you all. That um, we just really need to be, you know, take time out to look at our body. If we see something that's not right, you know, double check it. Don't be alarmed, but go to the doctor because you went to the doctor when you saw blood, correct? Yes. Oh wow! Yes. And make sure um, there's nothing like early 
detection mm -hmm. because my mother-in-law went through cancer with me at the same time, oh, wow. but she waited too a little bit too late, and the chemo did not help her because she, it took her life. Wow. So it's truly a blessing when you're still here. You know, um, cancer is no fun. Young ladies should always go and get mammograms. You know, and even though they say that you should do it in 40, I think you should do it sooner than that. Yeah. I mean, it's just good to just check your body out and just because the enemy is just bad. We know that. But then, yes. too, we just can't blame the enemy on a lot of stuff. We have to blame it on the foods we eat, different things we put in yeah. our body. You know what I'm saying? Everything that tastes good and look good ain't good for us, you know. So we got to be real mild because I ain't never seen so many people getting cancer as they are now. Back in the day, our families, when, when, when I was little, and I'm pretty sure y'all in the studio audience, y'all families was little, they weren't getting cancer like they get now. And it, now it's just ridiculous. So we got to really be mindful. And I would say, go get checked, go get checked, go get checked. So, I'm unfortunately, I got to go to a commercial break, but we'll be right back. So, let's put our hands together and welcome Jennifer McMurray. And there is a myth among the African American Keep community real, that it's like, if I don't know, it ain't going to hurt me. If I got to go, I'm just going to go. And I don't have. Nonsense! That's right. That's absolute nonsense because right. people are living with cancer. They are surviving, but we need to catch it early. Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? And welcome her to the stage, Pastor Tina Carter. At that moment, you know, when you hear the word cancer, you automatically think it's a death sentence. But there was moments I had was like, God, you know, why me? You know, when you look at yourself mm -hmm. and... One of the reasons why a lot of women don't go and get mammograms, and I just wanted her to tell it. I never heard it before, but I knew that's where she was gonna go. Don't have time, and because mammograms hurt. I would like to change that word. It doesn't hurt. It's rather inconveniencing. Yeah. Say, tells us, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I submit to you this afternoon that with our children and school being back in session, we need to take a moment to see the potential, the talent in our children, extend to them Christian love, and we likewise will be able to say in our community, oh, taste and see that our children are good, for they are learning, they're growing, and we are sharing with them the love of Christ. I'm Dr. Dorothy Travis Moore, and you have been listening to Walking in Your Destiny, Christian talk show. Syria M. Travis Academy Incorporated. Three schools, one vision. Our vision is to provide a learning environment with 360 degrees of service where our students achieve milestones in behavior growth and academic success by improving knowledge and personal development. For more information and enrollment, contact us at 414-342-4950 or log on to www.cmtravisacademy.org. Hey ladies, HIPS urges you to stop sabotaging your own weight loss before you even get started by offering you this one day compact power course on weight loss Saturday, November 16, 2013 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 4429 West Fond du Lac Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. HIPS is health is priority seriously. Designed by Dr. Marion Oregon, OBGYN, board certified and author for people who are serious about losing weight right now before the new year. It's an easy three-step approach to gaining the attitude, then losing the weight, loving yourself to lose, eating your best to lose, and moving your hips to lose. Real weight loss that shows off the real beautiful you. All this plus more for the introductory cost of $35. Yes, only $35 for a limited time with limited seating. Don't give up on your weight loss yet. Don't wait. Call Dr. Mary in Oregon at 414-394-4281. That's 414-394-4281 or email at cmc2oregon at wi.rr.com. Welcome back to Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. 
and I'm here with my friend Carolyn Davis. We're talking about people who overcame cancer, and she's a cancer survivor. And again, I welcome you for being. I thank you for being on the show. Um, I know you said during a commercial break that you wanted to say some something else about what you went through. I was going to say that. Um I didn't get that cancer till after five years after I had quit smoking. Um, mm. Smoking can contribute to cancer as well. You don't have to get it right away. You can get it later. I got it five years later. Wow. You know, and mm -hmm. um, my mother had a form of cancer as well. So go through your um, family tree because sometimes it can be hereditary, you know. And uh, I know that they said that cancer is in all of us. We all have cancer cells, but it takes time to activate or whatever. So, you know, we all do have that. But I'm like this. I'm pleading the blood. I ain't claiming nothing. I ain't claiming nothing in the name of Jesus. I ain't claiming it. Now, let's clap Hello. for that. You know what I'm saying? So, the next person I want to introduce is... Um, a beautiful friend of mine. She had happened to be on the show before. She hosts the show with me when doing our one year anniversary. Her name is Jennifer McMurray. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Jennifer. She first of all, she's an amazing woman of God, beautiful, and um, the the outfit the outfit that she has on today. Hmm, she looking marvelous. Hmm, I have the same kind of top. But I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> and um, also, she um, is a representative for the um, American Cancer Society here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jennifer is a um, community leader. She puts on wonderful women conferences once a year. Um, she's an entrepreneur, singer, songwriter, choir director, you name it. Also, she also was a radio host at 1290 here in Milwaukee. I love her beautiful personality and she's very very um has a lot of knowledge about the cancer society and how they can help us and um those who are going through cancer so let's put our hands together and welcome jennifer yeah. mcmurray <laughs> Hi, my friend hello, hello. Oh, smooches <laughs> hello everyone Hello, everyone. You know how we do it when Shauna and I get together, right. right? We're gonna have a good time while we're spreading the information. That's why you're looking good. Okay, though. we're gonna get that music like when we okay. extra because we gotta do our we dance step. What, what music when, when the music next time we okay. break. All right, just wanna All make right. sure. Okay, so how you doing? I'm doing fair to the minute. How you, yes, favorite? you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, with all that, what that means. But yes, yes, you are. And um, one thing about American Cancer Society, we are excited about celebrating birthdays. And that's about um, making sure that we have survivors surviving every year. So we celebrate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank God. And that's the reason why we're doing this show about um, cancer mm -hmm. survivors. Because when you get dead, when you get, um, when you get, how can I say it? When you get diagnosed yes. of having a severe yes. disease, a deadly disease, come on, y'all, your back is thrown to the floor. Yes. It breaks. Correct. Yes. Any bad news that it can, you know, that you don't know if you're going to be here today or tomorrow. And so for God to, to show himself mm -hmm. profoundly for who he is. I mean, when I heard your testimony, I just wanted to celebrate. And it gives me encouragement that God is who he say he is. He is a healer. He is a, a healer. healer. He is a healer. And you know, um, I also wanted to just uh, interject. Um, I'm, I'm just so grateful for your transparency and for sharing. Uh, because when to see something as devastating as blood in your bra, you think you're going to die. Right. And that's exactly what she said. She said, when, you, when we hear the C word, immediately we think, Oh, I'm dead. I'm going to die. I'm not going to be here. That's not the case. That's right. That is not the case. But the purpose for American Cancer Society and my role as a community advocate is to make sure that you are informed on the um, where to go if you happen to get it, to make sure you got the proper information on how to take care of yourself. Prevention is better 
than having to take care of it on the other end. That's real talk. And unfortunately, too many of us of the underserved are dying. Yep. We are dying because of a lack of knowledge. What does the Bible tell us? My, our people suffer. They die because of a lack of knowledge. That's right. And there is a myth among the African American community real, that is like, if I don't know, it ain't going to hurt me. If I got to go, I'm just going to go. And I don't have... Nonsense. That's right. That's absolute nonsense That's because right. people are living with cancer. They are surviving, but we need to catch it early. That's How right. do we catch it early? Well, I'll tell you that yes. when Shauna tells me I can. Okay. Well, first of all, Jennifer. Yes. What is the American Cancer Society? Because I really didn't know y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what? The American Cancer Society is an, um, a national organization. Uh -huh. We are a nonprofit, and we just celebrated 100 years. <laughs> Yay! A lot of people don't know that we've been around a long time, and we're everywhere. We are a nonprofit organization, and we're driven by our volunteers. So you will see us everywhere. Matter of fact, I was already at another event this morning, a healthcare event. But thank goodness for my volunteers. They come to help us to spread the information so we empower them we train them we put them on location we also train CHW so they can go within the community um, to also educate and hold training classes so that's what um, the uh, American Cancer Society is all about it's about informing educating and empowering that's people right. about cancer but also Letting you know that if you're diagnosed with cancer, we got programs for that as and, well. And you know what? That's what that's what I want to ask. How do you go about getting set up with those those programs? Uh, the type of programs, say, when, you, when you're diagnosed, mm -hmm. it's so simple. Check this out. Okay. All you got to do is go on the website. Now, it ain't one of them long websites where you got to do slash tag, hashtag, WHT, all that. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It is cancer.org. Oh, wow. Say that, cancer.org. Cancer.org. That's all you got to do. You go on cancer.org, mm -hmm. and it's easy to use. It's very friendly. It's easy to use, and you can answer questions. There's information on there, and then you also have our 1-800 number, which if you happen to get any of our pamphlets, I do have a table over there with pamphlets of information. Behind or on the back of every pamphlet, you're going to get cancer.org or our 1-800 number, 227-2345. Again, that number is 1-800-227-2345. Three, four, five. Of course, you can always call me. And you know what, Jennifer? That, that was some phenomenal information because I, when I tell you, I didn't know what the Cancer Society did. I'm being honest. You That's know, I okay. keep it real. That's okay. And I, I didn't really know, so right. I'm so glad that you're educating us this morning. And I just want to ask um, Carolyn: Did you, did you, did you go through a, um, something like the Cancer Society? Did you have anybody help you get through? I, um, I was. Introduced to um, Dr. Sandra Underwood. Um, she, yes, um, yes. Let's give Dr. I Sandra would. Underwood. That is one of our partners. We love her so dearly. Okay, go ahead. And Julie Griffin. Julie Griffin, Bonnie Anderson. Bonnie Anderson. You will find these ladies yes. working in the community doing wow. what we call CBEs. What's so, that, Jennifer? Okay, that's what I'm so glad you asked that, Sean. You know, I knew you was boo. getting ready to ask yeah. that. I was actually getting ready to say it before I got introduced, <laughs> I mean, interrupted. But anyway, a CBE is clinical breast exams. Mm -hmm. We do it right there on the spot. So if you see a church having a health fair mm -hmm. or organizations and they have one of these individuals there, we have an area that's set aside. Side, that all you have to do is sign up and they will give you a clinical breast exam. And, and that's is, basically is it free? It's absolutely free. So it's for me, It's absolutely free. And what they do is they check you right there in a private area. You usually remove your clothes at the top mm -hmm. and they check you and they teach you how to check yourself. And you made a very good point earlier about how we're afraid to, to look at ourselves mm -hmm. and um, examine ourselves. This, this is our body. That's right. God put us That's in charge right. of this body. That's right. Okay? It is our duty to take care of it, That's to right. live right, to eat right, to exercise, and to check your body. Be familiar with how your breasts look. See if there's a redness or a swelling right. or if there's something leaking from it or you got an indented dimple that don't ain't smiling back at you. No. <laughs> you need... 
Y'all better get with this. That's, that's real talk. And you know what? Okay. You, you, you know better what? laugh now because we want to celebrate later. That's right. Okay, so that is what you're looking for. And then you see any of those type of signs, you need to go and get checked out right away. And that's what we do. That's what Dr. Underwood does and her team mm -hmm. and our, our trained CHWs. And that's what I'm here for to inform you. And that's why I'm so glad that Shauna had me um, well, come back Well, you know what, Jennifer, program. would you come back next week? Okay, she asked me this on camera, so I'm going to have to check my calendar because um, I am out in the community working so very hard for ACS, and I want to be there for everybody. That's a yes. But okay, so we won't see her next week. <laughs> We got to have fun. But, you will see me again, though. But, That's a definite. But she got to be on next week. Get here, boo. Um, so anyway, um, I, I thank you for coming thank on, you. giving us insight about what's going on. Thank you. And um, you too, Carolyn. Um, I know it was kind of hard for you a little bit, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. I love can you. Can I say one thing, Please. too? You sure can. Don't think that cancer is just coming to women, because I know men that have gotten Breast Wonderful. cancer. Wonderful. So point. don't think it's just the women. Wonderful. A point. man can get it as well. You all need to clap a little louder because that's big information. That's really big. And you know what? I want to say one more other thing. I know that please, please, y'all, if you're listening, watching TV, whatever, please, if you just go to the doctor. Yeah. I know I had a very good friend. A very good friend of mine, and then I'm gonna go to a commercial break because they back there just cutting up. Um, but I had a very good friend that I love, Betty Jean, my Betty Jean. And today she was here, and two weeks later she was gone because she had a pain. Betty G, Betty G. Gillespie. Okay. And everybody yes, going like yes, this, but yes. I didn't know who I'm talking about. Yes, Mr. And Mr. I would never forget that that she had pain and would not go to the doctor to the last minute. So please, yes. please, please go to the doctor. Get checked. And so... We have to go to a commercial break. I'll be right back. Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't forget to tune in every Friday at 4 p.m. to walkinginyourdestinytalkshow.com. Stay connected with us and follow us on Twitter at WIYD Today or on Facebook on the Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show page. And subscribe to the Shauna Whitehead channel on YouTube to watch all of your favorite episodes. And welcome her to the stage, Pastor Tina Carter. At that moment, you know, when you hear the word cancer, you automatically think it's a death sentence. But there was moments I had was like, God, you know, why me? You know, when you look at yourself mm -hmm. and... One of the reasons why a lot of women don't go and get mammograms, and I just wanted her to tell it. I never heard it before, but I knew that's where she was gonna go. Don't have time, and because mammograms hurt. <laughs> I would like to change that word. It doesn't hurt. It's rather inconveniencing. Yeah. Say, I Welcome back to Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. And we're still talking to women who overcame cancer. And I just wanted to thank my wonderful guest, Carolyn Anderson, who was a, um, who was a, a breast cancer survivor. And also my good friend, the Jennifer McMurray, who represents the, the American Cancer Society. Thank you. So thank you guys for coming. And Jennifer will be back with us next week. Because See you we, next week. <laughs> we, we will be talking to another cancer survivor. You do not want to miss her powerful testimony. But um, if you was watching this um, broadcast and God is speaking to your heart and you want him to come into your life, you can accept him today. We always do that, uh, do an altar call on your Walking in Your Destiny show, which makes us different from any other talk show. So... Um, Come with me, bow your hair with a sincere heart and, and repeat these words. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge I'm a sinner. Lord, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you died on the third day and that you risen again. And Lord, I ask that you be the head and ruler of my life. I give myself to you today, Lord. 
In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And we amen. welcome you into the family of God. So we want to clap to that. Amen. And so, Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show has a prayer line seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You can call us at 1-888-316-0762. And you can write us at our P.O. Box, um, Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show, P.O. Box 16639, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53216. And again, um, please don't forget to watch us every Friday at 4 p.m. Our new season two just kicked off, so you don't want to miss that. And one more other thing, Walking in Your Destiny is doing something different that we never done. We are celebrating Milwaukee, Wisconsin, people in the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area. Can we clap to that, y'all? Yeah. People are doing some phenomenal things here. And it's called Positively Milwaukee. That's what it's called. And so the person that we wanted to recognize, who is a woman of God that I love dearly, that I look up to, that is really making a difference, not only in the, in the, 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 the um, uh, not only in the people of God's life, but the city her itself. She is an entrepreneur. She's a mother, an inspiration. She has three schools. Um, just a wonderful woman to, to get to know and can preach her tail off, real talk. Okay? So let's put your hands together with me and, re and, and let's, let's stand up, y'all, to my friend, Dr. Dorothy Travis Moore. Positively Milwaukee. Love you. And on the behalf of Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show, we love you. Um, you've been a blessing, just your, your presence, just real talk. And when I tell you she can preach, y'all need to really hear me. Anointed. Um, we want to celebrate you. Um, she was on my radio show with me. And now all month, you got your commercial. You're going to be doing a commercial. And you also, in, um, in our booklet that we, we have, and also, we want to give you this for just being a, an astounding woman of God and just being positive. So, you deserve it. You deserve it. And just know your labor is not in vain. We love you. And I, and I just have to say that. So, any, I just want to say to you all that if you know somebody that's doing something good in Milwaukee and that you want to nominate them, just go to our Facebook page, Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show, and put it down. Because we, they ain't got to be no millionaire. They ain't got to be all that. If they just making a difference in somebody's life. Because we really want to celebrate Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got some awesome people in this city. Amen? Amen. So, we congratulations. We love you. Mm. Love you too. All right. So, y'all, we getting ready to have my friend, awesome woman of God. She's an awesome woman of God, y'all. Her name is... Kenza, I hope I said it right, Kenza, but if I didn't, she's going to correct me anyway. But y'all, she's getting ready to drop her new CD, and she's in the building, so we're going to put our hands together for her. Come on. Come on, Kenza. I call her Kawanza. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Kenza Dawn. She was, she was on our um, Walking in Your Destiny showcase. She's a beautiful, talented woman of God, and she also was picked to get a record label with Ty Sky, correct? Correct. So I'm going to just be, on, be quiet and let her take the flow. Here you go, boo. Stronger than a diamond, multifaceted and shine. Cause I know who I am, cause I know what he said. Dawn, speak that logos, be my logo, raise the living dead and make their heads nod. So when they hear you speak, they'll find you, even if they don't know what they seek, accept and understand it. For this reason, I was planted on this planet. I don't take my life for granted, my life is a gift, and it feels good to be alive. Don't it feel good to be alive? Feel good to be alive. Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? 
Once again, conquered the darkness, ready to embrace my day, challenges and all, expecting good things and thanking God in advance, determined not to be a victim of circumstance. I woke up this morning feeling like a woman, full of life and promise, singing praises in my mind, smiling because I know he still hears me. Smiling cause I know he's near me Smiling because I'm alive And confident that I'm well equipped To complete my mission And navigate through adversity With expert precision Aware that life and death Are in the power of my tongue Deciding to carefully choose to use the right one, filling creation at my fingertips, ordering my day with the fruit of my lips, arranging matter and speaking my dreams into fruition, cause a vision ain't just a vision. A vision ain't just a vision, it's real in another realm, so I'm just unifying the dimensions. I woke up this morning feeling like a woman, bold and beautiful, strong, flexible, vulnerable, ready to laugh, to love, to cry, to correct it, to add or subtract if imbalance is detected, radiating positivity, multiplying my productivity, poised to be an asset to anyone who encounters me, prepared to be me to the infinite power so I can reign over these 24 hours. Yeah, I'ma reign over these 24 hours. Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel good to be alive? Good to be alive when it's hot, when it's cold, when it feels like you're getting old, in the good times and the bad. Appreciate all you have. Don't it feel don't it feel, don't it feel good to be alive? Don't it feel, don't it feel, don't it feel good to be alive? It feels good to be alive. It feels good to be alive. Don't it feel good? Don't it feel good? Don't it feel good? It feels good to be alive. Feels good to be alive. Don't it feel good to be alive? Thank you. Girl, that's the jam. I can't wait till that come out. I'm gonna get that. You know that right? <laughs> that was wonderful. When is your CD coming out? Come on. I'm in Kansas. Uh, it's okay, cause see, me and Shauna got this thing right. Now, Sean had been by my house on several occasions, spoken to her numerous times, but Shauna can't get my name right. I have been Kawanza, Kawenzi, but, <laughs> but it was Kenza Dawn, and my CD should be out in spring. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very, very excited. So I would love for you guys to support me. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm trying to do great things. I hope to do great things, so. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm excited for you. Again, I'm happy for what God is doing in your life. And um, I can't wait to get in. We will support you here at Walking in Your Destiny Christian Talk Show. Thank so thank you for being on the show. And again, um, Carolyn, we're going to 
Come on over this way, Carolyn and Jennifer. Thank you all for being on the show. Y'all can get on up off the couch and stretch your legs for a minute. Again, um, next week, you guys want to tune back in because we have an awesome show planned. We have the phenomenal Pastor Tina Carter from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, going to brace our stage next week. Yes, she's going to be in the building. And she's got a powerful testimony. She also is a cancer survivor, so you do not want to miss the show next week. And um, also my friend Jennifer McMurray, bam, she's going to be back on the show. That's right. And you don't want to miss her either. So um, you guys have a blessed and prosperous week. And again, we want to celebrate and thank um, Dr. Travis for being our Positively Milwaukee. Y'all have a blessed week. Come on, Ken. I said, don't it feel good to be alive? 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 Yes, it feels good to be alive. Feels so good to be alive.